Hey Mighty Down fans, LBT75 here. So today's LBT reviews is going to be on a classic 2002 animated film made by Blue Sky, which really isn't saying much considering that this exists and it was pretty awful. But aside from that, we're not going to talk about that movie there. We're going to talk about how it started from Blue Sky and how it became a successful property ever since Dreamer and Pixar. So with that said, we're going to review Ice Age. So stay tuned for that, Mighty Down fans. Ice Age takes place in the Cenozoic era. It features non-extinct Ice Age mammals, where they have to take this human baby and return it to its family. Now it's up to the characters just to save this human baby and return it to its pride. And yeah, that's basically what the plot of this movie. Featuring a woolly mammoth, a smilodont, a sloth, and this prehistoric squirrel, which gets a lot into trouble and all that stuff. Yeah, immediately, the plot is a bit predictable and cliche, but it sometimes stands out really well and really well with all these characters. Especially with Manny, Sid, Diego, and Scratch, which are pretty likable characters in Ice Age. And this baby, I don't know why they have to give it so much hate and all that stuff. I mean, it's just a baby from Ice Age from crying out loud. So Ice Age, I grew, I remember seeing this movie back when, uh, when the 2002 Spider-Man movie was announced by Sam Raimi and Disney's Lilo and Stitch. Oh man, that movie was an abomination. I'm just making a joke here. So, yeah, I'm most likely focused on Ice Age because it's one of my favorite Blue Sky movies. I'd rather ranked it in second place, but my first place is Dawn of Dinosaurs, and the third place is The Meltdown. But sorry, but that's just my opinion. So Ice Age is really, is really a comedy, a really good comedy that does things and takes things really, really seriously. Still better than that crappy, god-awful Norm of the North movie. Yuck. But anyways, uh, the, the characters. Now, what can I say about these characters? They are well-developed characters. We got Manny, who is a big, strong mammoth, who knows how serious the world is. We got Sid, who is a comp complete troublemaking sloth, who goes into trouble and starts panicking all that stuff after taking the rhinos' food and starts eating it. We got Diego, the Smilodont or Sabretooth Cat, is basically a villain who wants this baby just so just to get his, to, into his own kind. And Diego's pack, which is basically the main antagonist, they want to get revenge on the humans for killing off their kind. I don't know why they have to do that. And then we get Scrat, who is an acorn uh, napper, who goes and places acorn, and then, and then something ice shears and breaks loose, or in this case, hell breaks loose. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to know that that frozen tyrannosaur kind of resembles that of Ice H3, which I'll review soon. So yeah, another thing about this movie is the sad scene of Manny. Of how he was a loner, a lonely mammoth who saw what happened to his own family after being hunted by a pack of humans and all that stuff. And aside from the uh, humans, let's talk about them in just a few seconds. Yeah, I don't want to get too nitpick on these humans, but their designs are not that bad in my opinion. They're not that bad. I mean, these humans look like they came right out from Shrek, a movie that came out in 2001 which is pretty interesting and got a lot of praise for it. And as for Ice Age, yes, it is second to the least. But th the point is, is that we don't see the humans ever again. We only saw them in the first Ice Age movie and that's it. I don't get why. And also, I like, I like how the Sid fights up these, these dodo birds just for that watermelon, just to feed to this baby. And I like how they clutter up these old dodo birds and yikes, this, this seems pretty interesting and really ironic. And also I like how, uh, 
how Diego's uh, sacrifices himself to protect Manny away from his pack. And Diego's pack seems really dangerous and very violent looking. Especially the orange leader, Soto. Who's basically like crone from Dinosaur. Which leads up and then just threatens everyone who gets in his way and all that stuff. Yikes. Really intimidating. And also, I like how... Uh, how the other characters returned his baby to its human rights and and the humans realized that Manny was the only mammoth of its kind and they actually feel sorry for Manny which seems pretty sad and pretty emotional in my opinion I found I find this really emotional and really heartbreaking and all that stuff yeah and like Animat says the less characters it has the better it will be and aside from the animation in this movie the animation does look a bit dated up to date, but as for my eyes, the animation, it's not that bad in my opinion. It's not that bad. It's like the animation that came right out from Speckles to Tarbosaurus. I do not mind having animation like this. Sometimes it could be okay, and sometimes it could be really good and breathtaking, but that's just the size of playing. I mean, Ice Age, this is one of the best looking animated films from 2002. Right up there with Shrek, Toy Story, Dinosaur, The Land Before Time, and Jurassic Park. I mean, it's really that good in my opinion. Yeah, sure some negatives do outrage the positives, but I think that this is a really fantastic movie in my opinion. It really is that great in my opinion. So other than that, I'm going to give Ice Age a pretty solid 8 out of 10 and a B. Yeah, just a good really good looking movie and it still holds up in my heart and that's just my lbt reviews on ice age i hope you guys enjoyed this review please sure look and subscribe and all that stuff and lbt 75 here see you guys next time